I'm Laura Moyle, I'm from Cup Country Costa, and my speech is healing with our hands and helping with our hearts. I'm diagnosed with cerebral palsy, with a disability involving my left hand and arm, and a limb involving my short and left leg. I also have learning disabilities. But nevertheless, I've been pleased to complete a nursing assistance program as a junior, and to be enrolled in the health careers program as a senior. This has given me an opportunity to gain experience at the local doctor's offices, work as a recreational therapist assistant at a local nursing home, and to be a part of the great host organization, which has raised me to heights that I've never felt were possible. Through HOSA, I've had many opportunities to participate in community service projects. At Christmas, I was with a small group with other HOSA students. We visited isolated elderly. As we entered one gentleman's home, he greeted us with a warm handshake. As he told us to sit down, he quickly began sharing his life story. With tears, he said this would be his first Christmas without his wife and life would never be the same without her. He was so happy to share his life story with eager listeners. As we left, he hugged us so tightly with a warm smile on his face. We could feel the effects of using our hearts to listen and our hands to care. At the next house, we met a cancer patient who lived miles from town in a remote area. She too told us amazing stories of how she had cancer along with her sister and they were both fighting it. It was such optimism. I realized quickly, these visits for a host of community service projects were not about the packages we were delivering, it was the heartfelt connections we were making with the people we were so fortunate to meet. On another project, we worked side by side with cancer survivors, cancer warriors as one cancer patient called herself, to help sew a quilt which would be auctioned off on a national website with other quilts to raise money for cancer research. After that experience, I started to see myself not as an individual with disabilities, but as a warrior, determined to rise above them so I can reach my goals and make a difference in the lives of others. My health careers, education, and my wholesome involvement have placed me in situations which require me to become more responsible and self-sufficient as I battle to overcome my own disabilities. I've had to learn to take blood pressures with one hand, do required keyboarding with one hand, and learn to adapt to new technology using one hand. Last summer, I met a wheelchair-bound resident who asked me to teach her how to use the elevator. A simple task for you and me, unmanageable for her. Day after day, I showed her how to operate the elevator as we went downstairs to the activities room. She just didn't seem to get it, but we kept working on it. Then one day, when I was in the activities room, I heard something behind me. I turned around, and there she was, with a bright, joyful smile. She had come down the elevator all by herself. She gave me a big hug, grabbed my cheek, squeezed them, and kissed me. As they say in the credit card ads, priceless. These experiences have helped me to grow. I've learned a valuable lesson when I reach out to help and cover it with my hands and my heart. I get so much more back. I've learned not to be cold or distant when talking to a patient or resident, but to understand that I'm talking to a person. I am convinced that I can help heal through touch and with my caring heart. I've also learned if I just listen with my ears, information could go in one ear and out the other. If I truly listen with my heart, it will stay with me forever. Healing with our hands, helping with our hearts, with one hand or two, it doesn't matter. We can all make a difference through HOSA and our health careers program. Thank you.